This January, some of the caution guys headed down to Baja for the 2009 La Ventana Crossing slash Kiteboarder Magazine Expo. Four years ago, the event started out as a grassroots 11-mile race from the island of Saravo to Baja Joe's and La Ventana. But over the last couple years, the event has evolved to include short course racing, stand-up paddling, and a full-on equipment demo. Graciously hosted by Baja Joe's, Palapas Ventanas, and the Kiteboarder Magazine, the event focuses on giving back to the local community, with proceeds going to support the local primary schools. For the three weeks leading up to the event, it had been consistently windy almost every day in La Ventana. And sure enough, the day before everyone pulled into town, the wind shut down. Luckily, it was only a minor hiccup and the organizers were able to hold all the kite events with tons of no wind activities to fill the gaps. The crossing started with an early morning departure from Baja Joe's, with all the competitors loading equipment into the pongas and Paul having fun with Chip. Hey Chip! Hey, nice fan, buddy! This is actually a downwinder, not the course race. The pongas traced the course backwards so the competitors wouldn't get lost and we were stoked because our Ponga driver was already wearing a caution sweatshirt and he pinned it wide open, getting us to the island first without having to smash our way through 18 other Ponga waves. Once on the island, we had to wait for the wind to fill in and Tim did an awesome job organizing a treasure hunt, plenty of food and water, with lots of great volunteers to help the competitors off the island and staged a really good reverse rabbit start. The race was grueling, I ended up getting 6, Jeff got 7th, and the other guys finished in the top 20, so we all qualified for short course racing to be held the next day. The rest of the day was warm and windy with tons of demos, we got some great feedback on the new zombie, and people were raving about our trespass boards. Everything was going great, until we signed up for a team beer drinking contest. The beer guzzling relay required each team member to circle a shovel five times, pound a beer, before the next member could start. And as luck would have it, Peter, Jeff, Kelly, and Ken ended up winning. Except for the fact that the judges were hawkishly watching the caution team and stripped us of our victory based on some obscure technicality. Whatever, tying with Slingshot would have been fine. But things turned for the worse when Neil and Tim came up with a tie-breaking round which involved an ill-conceived, untimed, beer-chugging dance-off to music. Now putting aside the obvious shortcomings of such a subjective, unfair, unbargained for tiebreaker, well, I'm pretty sure I've never seen Peter Scheibel dance before, not to mention Jeff or even Kelly, and this didn't seem like a great time or place for them to start. So what happened next is, is well, I had to erase the footage because it's just too painful to watch. But uh, it's safe to say that Slingshot won the dance off, and uh, it was definitely a dark moment in the history of caution. Well, except for Kent's dirty dancing, which, which in my opinion is always a pleasure. So aside from the dance competition, we were having a good time. There was wakeboarding competitions, SUP gladiator combat, frozen wetsuit relays, long distance paddleboard races, Unfortunately, the window for the short course racing was pretty narrow, and they ended up having to pull the trigger with fairly up and down wind and under power conditions. Peter and Paul had some respectable finishes, but overall our team was overweight and under rigged. There were tons of parties at night, including an international tap pour contest where USA had a surprising upset against Mexico. USA stole the title with a sustained pour time of a minute and 30 seconds. And there were some notable performances by Tanya Farman and Sinbad. So after some late night debauchery, some fish tacos, some bacon wrapped hot dogs, we put the 2009 crossing to bed.